Good afternoon to you all. Well, at the onset, uh, let me express on behalf of the president of Liberia and the people of our great country, uh, our deepest condolences and sympathy to, our, to my dear sister, Hinda Debbie in, in Itno, on the loss of her beloved husband, Mr. President Idris Deber Into, Debbie Into. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Um, I'm quite elated and pleased to join my sisters, First Ladies of Africa, and all of you as the guest of honor at the eighth edition of Merck Foundation Africa Asia Luminary today via Zoom for the first time. And it is even more exciting to see that we have more than 2,000 participants from Africa, Asia, and Latin America to celebrate together the fourth anniversary of Merck Foundation. Let me start by wishing all of you great health and safety and to send a message of love and respect to healthcare workers who are at the forefront of COVID-19 response, providing high quality, respectful treatment and care to all of us. Their sacrifices and sincere commitment are worth applauding. As we thank God for all that they do to save the lives of many, to save the lives and make our continent and world a better place. This is especially important during this uncertain time. We realize more than ever the importance of our healthcare system and must double our efforts to advance and build its capacity to ensure that all our people have unfettered access to equitable and quality care when needed. I am pleased to report to you that in Liberia, we have overwhelmingly welcomed Merck Foundation programs, which strongly focus on building our healthcare capacity and training our healthcare providers at all levels. Currently, more than 35 Liberian doctors are undergoing specialty training which would result in the acquisition of diplomas and master's de degrees in many critical areas such as diabetes, cardiovascular, sexual and reproductive medicine, endocrinology, respiratory and acute, acute medicine, oncology and fertility specialists, and embryology training. Liberia again is making history and I'm proud to be the conduit to make this happen through the, Mount, through the Merck Foundation. I truly appreciate our partnership with Merck Foundation and acknowledge their smart and serious strategies to provide specialty training for our local doctors even before this global crisis so that they can provide the quality healthcare required by our people in the near future. I am pleased to be a part of Merck's Foundation prestigious platform this year and to be appointed as ambassador of Merck more than a mother in Liberia, which has me totally immersed in my mandate as espoused by the Merck Foundation to empower infertile women through access to information, education, health, and the imminent change of mindset in our country. Moreover, to empower girls in education through Merck Foundation's new program, Educating Linda, we are very much looking forward to this beneficial program. Dear esteemed sisters, I am proud to be with you. I'm proud to be, to be, I'm proud to underscore my partnership with you, excuse me, Excellencies First Ladies, to work together to make a significant impact in our country and the whole world through our strong platform. Merck Foundation First Ladies Initiative. It is our role as First Ladies to establish such strong and long-term partnership with thoughtful organizations such as Merck Foundation and to capitalize on this opportunity to improve access to quality and equitable healthcare solutions for our communities. As I mentioned earlier in Liberia, we are proud to make history together with Merck Foundation by providing specialty training for the first fertility embryologist, oncologist, and diabetes specialist in our country. 
This is a noteworthy achievement, which we do not take lightly. To further elucidate on this history making in Liberia, seven Liberian doctors will be enrolled in a one year Merck Foundation Oncology Fellowship Program in India or in Egypt in medical oncology, surgical oncology and radiation, gynecology, medical and pediatric oncology, and pathologists to be the first oncologists forming the first cancer care team in our country. This I submit is an amazing achievement and I will transform the landscape of, that will transform the landscape of cancer care in the next few years. In fact, two of the specialists have already graduated with more to complete over the next two years. Thank you, Merck. As a demonstration of our commitment to develop an appropriate response to the COVID-19 pandemic, together with Merck Foundation, two Liberian doctors were enrolled in one-year one year online postgraduate diploma program in acute medicine at the University of South Wales. We have also launched an inspiring storybook, Made the Right Choice. This story aims at raising awareness about the coronavirus, as well as to give important information about how to stay safe and keep healthy physically and mentally during this unsettling times. It also promotes honesty, loyalty, and hard work, even in the most challenging times. And I am pleased to share with you that though the times are challenging here in Liberia, together with the Merck Foundation, we have not forgotten those who are physically challenged, but rather have provide, provided donation to support the livelihood of our physically challenged people here in our country. In 2019, we launched the first Merck Foundation Health Media Training alerting journalists on the international standards and media ethics for reporting sensitive issues like infertility in Africa with more than 100 journalists attending. Understanding infertility issues in Africa communities, learning best practices in media reportage with the aim to break the stigma and sensitize our communities were key during this training. We have planned to support 20 girls students as part of Merck Foundation, educating Linda program, which aimed to empower girls through education in Liberia and the rest of Africa with part of our focus to empower girls through education. We, we are launching Education Miata, storybook to inspire girls and sensitize communities about the importance of girls' education. Angelina Jones said, there's no great pillar of stability than a strong, free, educated woman. Our point exactly to remove barriers and push for stabilizing our society in Africa by producing strong, free and educated girls. We received 30,000 copies of the three store books and in collaboration with the Ministry of Education Oh, I thank you so much. I just basically wanted to wish my dear sister Fatima and the people of Sierra Leone, happy Independence Day. Thank you so much.